Hi there, I'm Sol from MyWorks, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a demo of MyWorks Sync, the most customizable integration between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. Now, if I can just have 10 minutes of your time, I'm going to give you a quick screen share so that you can see exactly how MyWorks Sync connects your WooCommerce and your QuickBooks. But if you're in a hurry, here's what you need to know. MyWorks Sync gives you extensive settings that you can customize to control exactly how and when your data syncs between WooCommerce and QuickBooks and we have an awesome support team that all of our users rave about. Now, this video is specifically about our integration between WooCommerce and QuickBooks Online, but we do have support for QuickBooks Desktop Pro, Premiere, and Enterprise. So feel free to check out our separate demo videos for those. Now, next, I'm gonna share my screen with you so that you can see how MyWorksync works. The first thing you'll notice here is that we're in the back end of WordPress. So MyWorks Sync connects your WooCommerce and QuickBooks by adding a helper plugin on your WordPress site, which then allows you to connect to QuickBooks through the QuickBooks API. Now you'll notice that this is a direct connection between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. And what's really special about it is that it protects your data and it just means more security because anytime that you have a third party dashboard or other website that manages your sync, that also means that they have to have access to it. So for security reasons, and also just for convenience, we manage your whole connection between WooCommerce and QuickBooks in the back end of WordPress. Now the setup process usually takes about 30 minutes, give or take. Um, but once you finish that setup, you can start syncing your data automatically between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. So that means that you're going to configure the sync to sync your data exactly how you want it 24 seven without requiring any manual work from your side. Now, what is really special is about MyWorks as well is that you can really customize how the data syncs. You're going to see here in, in a few moments just how much you can customize. The first thing I want to show you is what type of data we sync in each direction. You'll see we are on our automatic sync tab settings and here you can control what type of data syncs in each direction. From WooCommerce to QuickBooks, you can sync customers, orders, products, variations, and payments. And from QuickBooks to WooCommerce, you can sync products, inventory, and payments. Now you might be wondering how we sync your data. So in just a few moments, I'm going to walk you through a WooCommerce order. But before we jump into that, I just want to show you a few of the different tabs of settings that we have that you can use to customize the sync. So we'll start here with our default settings. Then we have a ton of exciting order settings that can be customized to control how the order is entered in QuickBooks. For example, the format, invoice, sales receipt, or estimate, or you can also customize this based on the customer role or the payment gateway used at checkout. Next, we also have product and inventory settings. We also have tax settings. We also have mapping settings full settings, automatic sync, which we just saw, and additional miscellaneous settings. Now, I don't wanna overwhelm you with all of these settings. You won't have to pay attention to all of them if you don't need to, but it's just for you to see that you have complete control over the data and how it syncs. Now, let's take a look at an order. We will use this one as an example. Now, starting from the top, we'll go through how everything syncs. All right, so the first thing we see here is the order number. We can sync over the WooCommerce order number, or we can make this order follow the QuickBooks order number sequence in QuickBooks, of course. And we can also control the format. So how is this order entered in QuickBooks? It could be an invoice, a sales receipt, or an estimate. But like I said before, you can also customize the way that these orders are entered based on the WooCommerce customer type or the payment gateway used at checkout. So let's say for example, that you give your customers the option to pay by credit card immediately or to pay later. So if they checked out with the pay later option, we could allow their order to sync as an invoice, whereas a customer who paid via credit card, could their order could sync as a sales receipt. And again, you can do the same thing with your different customer types. Now, the next thing you see here is the date. We can sync over the date of the order, or the date that the order synced. Usually these are the same, but sometimes they vary just depending on your setup. Next is the customer. We're very flexible in how we sync customers. So if you have existing customers in WooCommerce and in QuickBooks, we can map them to make sure that all of the new orders sync to their existing customer in QuickBooks. But we can also choose to create new customers for customers that don't exist in QuickBooks. 
but there are people who prefer not to have all of these different customer accounts in QuickBooks. So if that's you, we have a solution for you. We can actually sync your WooCommerce orders under one QuickBooks customer. That means that in QuickBooks, you just see one customer, but still every single order is going to have the individual customer details. And you can also choose to do this just for a few types of customers. So for a specific customer type or category, and then sync individual orders for other types of customers. So let's say wholesale customers, you want to make sure you have all of their customer information in QuickBooks, but maybe you don't want all of that information for your retail customers. So this is what you can customize. The next thing you're going to see here is your billing and shipping address and email address and phone. These are all going to sync to QuickBooks and you can even customize how they sync as well. Next, we have our product sold. We're going to sync each product sold as its own individual line item in QuickBooks, which is ideal. And we will map it to a product in QuickBooks. So this blue t-shirt in WooCommerce is going to be mapped to the corresponding product in QuickBooks, which it might be a different name, it might even have a different SKU number, but it's likely going to be connected to its corresponding income and sales and cost of goods sold accounts. So that's the way that we can just easily funnel all of your WooCommerce sales data into QuickBooks for you. Next is the cost. So we're always going to sync over the price charged for the product, even if it's different from the price in QuickBooks, which is quite handy if you have sales or coupons or you have different price rules for your customers. Next, we have another product. Again, you're going to see that we are going to sync over um, the product in its own separate line item and sync over the price that was charged as well. Next, we have our flat rate shipping. We can sync over your shipping fees to QuickBooks and also map them to a shipping product in QuickBooks. Next, we can see our subtotal shipping, of course. And if you had sales taxes charged here, we would also sync them to QuickBooks. We have a few different ways to sync sales tax just depending on your setup, but we can, we can support all setup types. Next, we can see um, this order was paid for with Stripe. And what's really nice about Myrix as well is that it has completely customizable settings for how we sync your payments and it has individual settings for each payment processor or gate. So if you have a few different processors or options that people can use at checkout for payment, we can actually configure individual settings for each one so that we can ensure that those payments are recorded in QuickBooks the way that you need them recorded and that reconciling is just nice and easy for you. You'll see here, uh, this order is actually refunded. We do have the option and support for syncing refunds over to QuickBooks, which is quite handy as well. And of course, if a product was, if an order was refunded and the product was returned, we could also record this here and the inventory would be adjusted in QuickBooks accordingly. Now, because we just discussed our payment settings, and this is quite important, I wanted to show you our payment method mapping page. You'll notice here that we have an individual section for settings for each one of our payment processors. On our demo, we have Cash on Delivery, PayPal, and Stripe, but we have support for all processors that WooCommerce supports for. So you will see your setting for your processors here. Now, we have really great advanced settings as well. Um, this is another thing that makes MyWorks really unique. It's thanks to these settings that we can ensure that your reconciling is just nice and breezy. Um, let's go through Stripe here as an example. So we can enable payment syncing, choose a payment label so that for the order in QuickBooks, you see how this order was paid for. We can choose the bank account where this payment should be recorded. We can choose to sync refunds and sync our transaction fees. Next, let's sync talk about our batch fees. support. Can automatically our batch support is amazing at helping account. easily reconcile deposits from your payment processors that group together your sales from a day or week and send those to your bank in one deposit. MyWork Sync will sync your orders through the day to QuickBooks in real time and they'll be recorded in your undeposited funds account in QuickBooks. Then at the end of the day or week, we'll automatically create a bank deposit in QuickBooks that includes all the orders from that day or week and groups them together to move into your QuickBooks bank account. With support for transaction fees as well, this ensures that this deposit exactly matches the amount your payment processor sends to your bank, making it easy to match them together. So that would be our payment method mapping page. Um, for each different processor, you're going to want to have a little bit slightly different settings. And if you're not sure how to configure this, you can just always reach out to our support team. The next thing I'd like to show you is how we map products. This is where we match your existing WooCommerce products to their corresponding existing QuickBooks products and only needs to be done for products that exist on both platforms. It's quite easy. It's very flexible. You don't need your names or SKU numbers to match. 
but if they do, you can save some time by using this auto map tool by name or by SKU. Um, if you do so manually, you'll see you'll, you'll have your WooCommerce product here on the left, and you can select the corresponding QuickBooks product from the dropdown on the right. You can also assign a QuickBooks class. And yes, we do have full support for variations and for bundles. For variations specifically, you'll see that we break out each individual WooCommerce variation so that you can map it to its corresponding QuickBooks product. And then customers. I mentioned before that we're very flexible in how we sync customers. So you can manage all of your customers in QuickBooks or we can sync all of your WooCommerce customers to one QuickBooks customer. But if you are wanting to keep track of those customers in QuickBooks, you're gonna want to use our mapping tool, which again only needs to be done if you have customers on both platforms at the time that you set up. And you can save some time by auto mapping by email or name or company name but you can still also manually map your customers just like this. So we see Jason Smith, we can search for Jason Smith in QuickBooks and assign them. And we also have mapping options for tax rates and for custom fields. So if you need help with, with custom fields specifically, we, our support team can definitely help you. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you is our push and pull pages. These are alternatives to the automatic sync and they can be used to push data from WooCommerce to QuickBooks or to pull data from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. Now, our users typically use this if they need to sync past data because MyWorks won't automatically sync your old customers and your old products and, and orders because you might not want that. But if you do want that, then you can come to these pages to, to push or to pull. So it's quite simple the way it works. If you are wanting to push an order, for example, you can go here, see all of your orders, you see the sync status, and if you wanted to sync it, you would just select the checkbox next to the order, and we would sync it automatically over to, to QuickBooks for you. If you do accidentally select the, an order that you've already synced to QuickBooks, we'll just update the order, we would never duplicate it. Now you might be wondering how we automatically sync orders. So to show you how we do that, I'm gonna take you back over to our order sync settings. This is one of my favorite pages of my work sync actually. Um, this is where I showed you, you can choose how you enter the orders in QuickBooks, invoice, sales receipt, or estimate. But this is the important one here, the sync trigger. So we trigger the automatic sync based on the WooCommerce order status. So in this field, you're going to enter any status that you want to trigger the sync, such as processing or completed. This means that when an order gets to this status, it will sync to QuickBooks automatically. So you don't have to do anything manually, but this is also a great way that we can ensure that an order that was failed or canceled doesn't sync to QuickBooks if you don't want it to. Now, while we're on this page, I will show you a few of the other exciting settings that we have. For example, we have the option to set actions to happen when the order syncs to QuickBooks, like to print the order or to send it to the customer. We have a few more technical things like choosing to sync a transaction fee as a negative line item, very specific use case. But as you can see, we have all of these settings that support those of you who have very specific needs for how you sync your data to QuickBooks. Now, again, everything is handled from the back end of WordPress. You'll see you have your MyWorks Sync dashboard right here. You can create the connection from the connection tab, configure your settings here. You can see a log of all of your syncing activity under the log. You can map your existing WooCommerce data to QuickBooks through the mapping page. You have push and pull pages for, for manual syncing, and you have a compatibility tab for all of the other WooCommerce plugins that we have support for. Now, there are quite a few. Um, and this is the page where this would be managed. If you have a specific question about plugins that we support, you can definitely reach out. But most of those core WooCommerce plugins that you see on WooCommerce, we have support for, which is very exciting. And of course, we're always improving our sync. We, we're very dedicated to making this the best solution that we can for our users. And we have this just, it works mentality. It's, it's simple enough for beginners, but it's also advanced and customizable enough for even the most advanced users. Now, if you have any questions, anything we didn't cover in this video, please feel free to reach out to us, get in touch, or you can schedule a live demo. We'd love to get to know you. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today.